Hello, my name is Danny. Welcome to Drive Green. And today we'll be having a look around our Renault Zoe 40 kilowatt dynamic nav. The 40 kilowatt battery will give you a real world range of 150 miles, so lots to play with as a great example of a medium range EV. This one, 2017 plate, is done 23,603 miles on the clock. Its next MOT is January 2023, and the next service is December in 2022. So nothing to worry about for quite some while. There's a few little noteworthy mentions on this car, but on the whole, it is in an immaculate condition. And I do love the Renault Zoe. Fun city, zippy car in its white colour. First down to the driver's side near alloy front alloy looking in immaculate condition going down over to the driver's side door also in great condition nothing noteworthy to mention on here other than the door handle itself it has a little signs of life just kind of little nicks and scratches just down through there but as you kind of pull away and hopefully the camera will be able to pick it up nothing noteworthy mentioned at all Going down to the near passenger side door. Trying to go as slow and as cautious as you can so you can see there's nothing noteworthy to mention on here. That is in fact just a little tiny bug. So we'll let that little bug be. Let the camera focus once again. Going down through otherwise at the back. Feel free to pause the video at any stage and take a closer look. But another immaculate alloy on this side. Coming around to the rear of the vehicle, there's only a few little stone chips down through here. So this one just here. Oh, that's another bug. There we go. Protracting the work of wildlife, as it were. There is something noteworthy mentioned. That's just over here. Just a little nick and scratch. Hopefully the camera will be able to focus on that. But so minute, the camera can't even focus. There we go. Going around to the rear. Another little tiny stone chip that's just in here. All right. But on the whole, for a 2017 plate, it is looking in immaculate condition. Going around to the far side or rear passenger side, around near the boot space, once again looking in remarkable condition. That is in the stone chip, you can see it moving across the screen, it is another bug. On the whole though, it's just the wonders of the outdoor forecourt being a little bit muddy. There we go, another immaculate alloy. Coming down to the passenger side door, on the far side, once again another immaculate panel. Nothing noteworthy to mention on that. There is a little speck there, but once again that is another bug. There's lots of bugs here at Drive Green. Not just attach, attracting the attention of potential buyers, but also the local wildlife. And coming along to the very last and least final alloy. Once again, hopefully you can see that. The previous owner of this vehicle clearly has loved it very, very much by the good state of it. Right then, coming along over to the bonnet, you usually find with any vehicle a few little stone chips here and there. It's very, very rare for me to find no stone chips whatsoever. And there we are, a little, little tiny one that's just in there, okay? But once again, hopefully you can see by the state of the vehicle, that it is nothing noteworthy to mention there. Those headlights do look really cool. Hopefully you can see that. Nothing noteworthy mention on the rest of the vehicle. Perfect, it's absolutely immaculate. Nice, good. Awesome, right then, let's have a look on the inside. Does the story continue? Beautiful, right then. Nice plush cloth interior, very nice comfy seats, you don't feel small or cocooned in in this vehicle, love the LED strip and then you have the entertainment system where you have sat nav, DAB, radio, a nice reasonable view out the front just here, car just needs a little bit more charge and stuff and also calibrating to get the proper idea of what the battery health as well as the uh, the range of the vehicle is truly light. At the moment it's showing 80 but I'm sure it'll be much much higher when it is at that full charge and is adjusted to the weather conditions as well as 
previous drivers. So the range is based on lots of different things, not just the battery health. Very much worth mentioning and noting if you're not sure yet. Right then, just having a look in the back seats at the moment, just hopefully you can see it is quite dark, but I'm trying to go as slowly as I possibly can. This is still in really, really good condition. I'll go over to the other side where there is one little tiny noteworthy mention after we've gone through to the boot space. Focus, please, thank you. And the boot space. Nice, big, deep boot space for such a compact car. Probably another one of the reasons why people found it so eye-catching as well as practical. Right then, there's a few little nicks in the sill just here. If the camera does like to focus, that would be very, very handy. But hopefully you can see that at home on your screen or on your phone or on your laptop or however you're viewing the video. That is to be expected for any second-hand vehicle of little nicks from the luggage. Little button in there, little button in there. Whole of the back seats will fold down almost flat. But it gives you a nice lovely space on the inside where you can put either a, you know, a child's bike or an adult bike with the front wheel off. There's plenty of space in there to keep it very practical as well for such a compact car. We will provide as standard in the boot space the 13 amp 3 pin lead where you can do your home charging. All right. So you can always do your home charging with any of the vehicles from our forecourt as we provide that lead completely free and standard. And there you have it. The Renault Zoe 40 kilowatt hour dynamic nav. If you'd like to find out a bit more information about this particular video, make sure you make your way over to YouTube, where you can find our YouTube page. And Richard, our founder and owner, has done a very detailed information video on reviewing the Renault Zoe and all the different kilowatts and see if it's the right EV for you. If you'd like to find out a bit more about this particular EV, make sure to do get in touch with us using our contact information found on our website. We look forward to hearing from you. All the best, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye.